in our history of 75 years, or whatever point before or after that that marks the origins of your local, our survival, our very survival has never been harder. These are difficult times, but you are confronting those challenges, not shrinking from them or sugarcoating them. Ask our delegates from Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, just how hard it is resisting the attacks from state government on our bargaining rights. Ask our CenturyLink delegates from District 7, working through the acquisition, the acquisition of Quest after U.S. West, and now eight months battling for their first contract with their new owner. Or as Ed discussed, the Verizon members in the East striking for two weeks, not really for a contract at that time on strike, but to force the company off the worst set of concessionary demands in our telecom history, and to bring that fight to the attention of our union and this nation. Then another year of bargaining and mobilizing, and finally reaching an agreement that maintained our standard of living with huge help from all of CWA and our allies. Ask our AT&T members across the country, working past expiration with constant mobilization and walkouts. Or NABIT CWA members at ABC, working two years past expiration, now in ratification on a tentative agreement that will prevent imposed conditions. Ask our U.S. Airways flight attendants, after bargaining for seven years, just reached a new agreement and now battling to survive as the company has merged to become the new American Airlines. Ask our public workers in New Jersey, in the fourth year with Chris Christie, the first of the right-wing governors who stripped all health care bargaining rights. Now our members face $4,000 a year premiums for family health care. Or New York Times journalists engaging in unprecedented job actions to secure their agreement or our manufacturing members in IUE CWA face now with the worst trade agreement ever, the so-called Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, despite a Democratic White House. Or ask those among us without any bargaining rights who are struggling to join CWA to even have the ability to negotiate with their employer. Is all this too much to bear? Is it too negative? Is it hopeless? Not just hard. No. No, it's not. No group in our union, and perhaps anywhere, better captures the spirit of resistance than Local 1109 and the 300 Brooklyn Cablevision technicians who battled to form their union and win an NLRB election. And they are here today to ask for your support not just for themselves, but for all workers like them, in our union, in other unions, and for workers with no union at all. One day longer, one day stronger, we walk in together, more strength and health and true solidarity. This is my family, this is our destiny. Holding on the 26th and the month of January, we make history. We achieve victory, special thanks to Joe Biden and D.C. Now something for the Lewis. Registration and against suppression now? When? If we don't demand that Democrats confirm an NLRB with a Democratic majority that will make decisions that support us now? When? If we don't stand up for retiree health care, not just in our own union, but across the nation now? When? 
This is our time to take up this challenge, and if not now, when?